Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, it's very cold and I hope we will not lose electricity because we have a big storm. Uh, Allah, nothing like him. Nothing, nothing. Nothing like Allah. And the Muslims, they warn each other from making or trying to make something to resemble Allah. Like, let us say, you say Allah is like this and Allah like that. You cannot say that. You cannot. Haram. It's haram. We have a chapter in the Quran, chapter 24, verse number 35. You see, you cannot say Allah is like a, a human. You cannot say Allah is like a, a cucumber. You cannot say Allah is like, a, but you can say, uh, but Allah, he says, I am like a tree. <laughs> you know, I mean, have you ever heard of a religion like this? You cannot say Allah like this and like that, but Allah, he can say Allah. He said, I have a hand. Okay. But you can't say that Allah hand like your hand. But Allah didn't. <laughs> uh, but brother, Allah, he said that he, nothing like him. Oh, 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 okay. You know what? Instead of me introducing to you what nothing like him, uh, let us, let somebody else do that. What do you mean by Allah, nothing like him? Like, what do you mean exactly? Hmm? What does that mean? Brother Dakar Naik is going to explain to you. Chapter number 112, verse number 4. There's nothing like him. Again, in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 11. There's nothing comparable anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing comparable to Allah. Brother Sitar. Nothing is comparable to Allah. Okay, hold on. So Allah, he say he's like a tree. How nothing is comparable to Allah? And then Allah, he say, I'm like a tree. Nothing is comparable to Allah. Do you know the guy, his name is Borat? Do you know Borat? Prophet Borat, peace upon him. I mean, this is Borat book. Nothing is comparable to Allah, and Allah, he says, Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. The similitude of Allah, the light of Allah is a niche where in the lamp, and the lamp is in a glass, and the glass in, uh, as it were, in a shining star. The lamp is a kind of form, a blessed tree, an olive neither from the east and the west. I thought, uh, I think nothing is comparable to Allah. Not, nothing, brother, nothing is comparable to Allah. Okay, so he, Allah is not even comparing himself to a tree. He's comparing himself to a, to a niche, to a light in a niche. And that light is, you know, is, is from olive a tree. I mean, olive. And if you don't like this translation, I understand. Because there's no Islamic translation. You can translate Allah's words. I mean, because Allah is the most silly potato God ever. I mean, he says things nobody says. It's hashish, my friend, the influence of hashish. Now, when the Muslim, they try to explain this, do you know what they do? Allah knows best. Allah knows best. So each one of them, he try to give you his own fabrication interpretation. But I mean, the verse is very simple. Allah is saying, he is the light of the heaven and the earth. Okay, that's acceptable, no problem. You know, we can take it metaphorical, right? Okay. Uh, you know, the Bible says about God is the is the light of the world. You know, Jesus is the light of the world. But here, Allah confirmed to you that this is a parable. Uh-huh, it's a parable. But when you make a parable about you, saying you are the like of this and that, it's mean you are a person we can compare to others. The parable of his light. But remember, the parable of his light, but Allah himself is the light. Correct? 
You see now we are not comparing light to light. We are comparing that light to Allah. Because Allah himself is the light. Because many people do not know how to read, sadly. It says Allah is. Is. Is what? Is the light. Okay. So the sentence is after is to explain that light to us. Which is Allah. And actually I choose this topic today because there is a, a, a lady from... Uh, Indonesia you know I love Indonesian people you know that's why I give them my books for free but in Indonesia there's a lot of geniuses I mean not genus geniuses you know this is the new like this is from, please learn English from me geniuses you know actually she is a genius Yano. look what she said to refute the Christians about all the stupid thing in the Quran I mean we make I make a, a video of an hour or two and then the Muslim he posts this for me Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth Surat an nur mm -hmm. What does this have to do with our topic? They intend to put out the light of Allah. Like what? Yeah, this is Quran. They intend to put out the light of Allah with their mouths, but Allah will bring his light to perfection. Hold on, he will bring it to perfection. So it's not perfect yet? Even though they disbelieve. <laughs> This believers <laughs> perfect example of you guys uh, by my Allah Alhamdulillah I'm guided you, you see this is the, the, the first thing you know you know, like if you're an Arab person when a person he is from different land he don't speak Arabic by my Allah what do you mean by my Allah so you have your own Allah I have my own Allah <laughs> Is that a watermelon? <laughs> so by my Allah, I'm guided. Just to show you how stupid what you said. Isn't it Allah, he says, he is the one who guides and he is the one who is misguided? So let us say this is an example of us. That means this is the example of the stupidity of your God because the Quran says it is Allah who misguides and Allah who is he guides. So what is the problem? The problem is Allah. <laughs> and look, you are the one who don't speak Arabic, but you understand the Quran perfectly. Hmm. The light of Allah. And then she said in different texts, she said, when the last time your Bible was updated, you see uh, uh, a bean, your name is bean. A bean can cause a lot of gas. Listen carefully. Uh, uh, when when somebody speaks to Christians about their Bible, at least, you know, at least, at least we have a book. Huh? And it exists even in the ground. I mean, it exists even in mosaic, exists in art, exists every single story is preserved, not only in a paper. You have nothing. You don't have a single paper of the book of Uthman. They have a book of Egypt. They say this is the book of, it's a lie. There's no book of Uthman. There's no book of Hafs. Hafs is a guy who came 200 years after Muhammad and he recited the Quran and you have one of the recitation, which is, I can show you the books speaking about hundreds of recitation of the Quran and they are totally different from each other. And when you speak about the Bible to be corrupt, just to show you how foolish you are, isn't it Allah who sent the Bible according to Islam? So you are saying Allah book is corrupt. Thank you very much. That is additional proof that Allah cannot be God because nobody can change the word of Allah. This is what the Quran said. Unless you want to say to me, oh, you understand the Quran wrong. Allah, he don't mean the Bible because the Bible is not his word. <laughs> what a stupid religion. How the Quran says, nobody can exchange and change the word of Allah. Look how many times, look how many times, look, look, look. Wala mubaddila li kalimatillah. What a drama. Huh? And nobody can change the word of Allah. No? Are you sure? The Muslims, they say something different. <laughs> and between two brackets, the Muslims, they say to you the word Quran, you idiot. You see who is the one who corrupt the book? If the Quran never say the word Quran, why you put it there? You see who is the one is updating his book? The Quran says, 
nobody can change the word of Allah. Where you added this, the one revealed to Muhammad, where it says that? Even your fake translator, he added between two brackets. Why? Do you know why? Because he, and he was not telling you that I'm lying to you. This is how we understood it, but doesn't say that. Doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> If you change the translator, you will find right away a new translation, a new Quran, updated Quran. Look at this. Where is the Quran and where is Muhammad? It says none can change his words. So the stupidity as always is amazing. Is the Bible sent by Allah? They say yes. Is the Torah sent by Allah? They say yes. And then can anyone change the word of Allah? No. Is the, Quran, is, the, is the Bible changed, Brother Abdul? Yes. <laughs> and then the stupid Quran go farther. You know, uh, he says that Muhammad agree in what, what, what they have with them. He confirm it. <laughs> How he confirm what is between their hand or with them and it is corrupted. Hmm? What's wrong with those people? Can they comprehend the Quran? They cannot. They are like their prophet. And when come to them a messenger from Allah, confirming what was with them. Look at the first translation. It says what was with them or what is with them. Take it to the Arabic and copy and paste in Google and you will see confirming what is with them. Coward liars. What is with them? I will go back to the topic, just I wanted to give uh, some uh, hummus to this girl. If you change the translator, what is with them, huh? Potato. Potato religion. The religion of a fraud. Hmm. Look, this guy is saying, what was with them? What? Where it says it was? I want to know where is the word was coming from? Change the translator. This is Khan. Let us see Biktal. Biktal, my friend, Biktal. Like, hold on. Look at the differences. Confirming that which they possess. Uh oh. One of them he is saying the truth. He must be wanted now by Al Qaeda. Takbir. Confirming which they possess. Yes, this is what it says. All the other translators, they try to fix it because how we say to the Christian day and night, your Bible is corrupt, and then we say we confirm what is between your hands. Potato. And all the other verses are the same. I mean, this is not the only one. However, this is not our topic. But when a Muslim, he says the Bible is corrupt, say to him, yes, the Bible of Allah, and see how his face will change. His face will become a face of a zucchini. Because he is a fool saying to you that the book of my God being screwed. So your God being screwed, thank you very much. The second, you see the problem of a Christian, when a Muslim, he says to them that your Bible is corrupted. So what the Christian do? He says, no, we have uh, uh, thousands of manuscripts. This is not true, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no, Allah, this, we don't have a book like that. We don't. Another point to show you the stupidity of the, the author of the Quran. How we have a book which is corrupted, and you keep calling us people of the book. I mean, who is the stupid here? If we are people who corrupt the book, why you keep calling us the people of the book, you idiot? I'm not talking to you, Abdul. I'm talking to Allah. 
The people of the scriptures, the people of the scriptures, the people of the scriptures. Okay, who are they? The Christian and the Jews. So how we do, how the scriptures is gone, and you keep calling us the people of the scriptures. Going back to zero, stupidity is amazing. Now we go back to that topic. Nothing like Allah. Alhamdulillah. Aman, Rabbi Aman. So here Allah, He give example of Himself, like He is like a light uh, in a in a in a niche. I, I like to see Allah in the niche. I mean, Allah is in the niche is better than Allah out of the niche. At least we can put Him somewhere within a lamp. And the lamp is in a glass, and the glass at it was it were a brilliant star. It says cocob, a plant, you know, what a brilliant star. As it were, okay. But by saying such a statement, you believe that stars or planets are exist in a niche. Scientific fact. Light from plus three, like hold on. So we end with the light. We start with the light, and this light is li is like a, a light uh, uh, in in a in a niche, and where it is in a lamp, and then a lamp in a glass, and the glass as in as where a brilliant star light from a blust tree, an olive. All of this, Allah did not compare Himself to anything yet. Where is everybody? Why we have only 638? Because I did not tell you just 30 minutes ago, I decided to go. Unbelievable. I'm going to cut off your salary, all of you. You are fired. However, you see, who can explain how Allah, if Allah like anything? Allah like nothing like Allah. Nobody can explain how Allah is more than the Muhammadan. We have to admit. Now, if you ask a Muslim about how Allah is, in a debate, in the debate, they will say this to you. This is a debate happened between Shabir Ali and our brother Anis Sharush. He's an Arab, Christian. Sharush, he made them shish kebab as usual. He made the dad shish kebab as usual. And the, the dad actually, he show up in one debate and the second debate, he ran away. He did not even show up. Even this guy was waiting in the stage, people waiting by hundreds, and the coward did that did not show up because you don't do it twice. That's it. One mistake. Surah 2, 115. Unto Allah belong the east and the west, and whithersoever you turn, there is Allah's countenance. The Arabic word is face. Now, Dr. Shirosh wants to establish that Allah has eye, hand, face, and therefore we must see him as a human being. But no, you, you should understand, first of all, that there are some basic things which are very clear. And then there are some things which are not so very clear. There are in the Quran what are... Stop, please. We have a religion. Some of it is a clear and the other thing is not a clear. So we Muslim, we follow the clear and the unclear we say, Allah knows best. I mean, what is this? This is an answer for a debate. Yes, the Quran says that. The Quran says there is verses which is a clear versus no clear, and nobody knows their meaning save Allah. <laughs> so why you give it to us? He gave it to us to mislead us. The Quran says so. And now this, you see, always in a debate they say different answer from when they are speaking to Muslims. Listen carefully. They call ayat mutashabihat things which are not clear. So the Quran says those who have disease in their hearts will run after the ayat mutashabihat. To but the one who follow the Quran anyway, you idiot, is the Muslim. So you are saying the Muslim who have disease in their heart. Look at this stupidity. Imagine there's a God. Let us say a God is a, is a person who own uh, uh, like uh, 10 cats. Now let us use parable now. And then this God, he put milk in front of the cats. One of the dish of the milk look like milk, but it's poison. And the poor, the, the poor cat is the one who will lick it and drink from it. And Allah is saying that she have a disease in her heart. I mean, you will make it look like a milk and you told them this is Quran. So why somebody, he follow the book of Allah, regardless if the verse is clear or not, is that his fault to be misleading and he have a sickness in his heart? 
The liar here, he says, those who have a disease, and then he will say those are the Christians. But let us see if those are the Christians or not. If we go to a different video, we will find different Muslims saying the opposite story. Does this guy have a disease in his heart? Surah Al-Rahman, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all. Uh, uh, what you see and what you do not. Yeah, yeah, he's the creator. The Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. How he can be the creator? Isn't this is the Quran too? It says I am the best of the creators. How Allah he say I am the best of the creators and then he said it in two places in the Quran. And yet he is the only creator. That's me Allah is cheating. I told once my mom that I, I was number one in the school, you know. Uh, but you know, I, uh, I was going to an empty school. There's nobody. There's no teachers. There's no uh, principal. There's no student. It's a school it was burned. You know, I go there, sit there, and go to my mom and say I'm the best student in the school. How you can be the best God creator if the, if there's many creators? Continue. So Allah have a face, okay? Not see, and He's not created, and He does not die, and He does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa taala. No, I don't have ending. No, you know, He did not die. <laughs> How he don't die if he don't live? Shouldn't you live first to die? Allah is not a spirit, which means he have no life. I mean, this religion is the most confused, silly religion. They don't even know the nature of their God. Ask any Muslim, is Allah is a spirit? He will say to you, yes. Go and Google search for two minutes. You will find that Allah don't have a spirit. They have no idea who's their God. You will find an Arab guy who grew in the Middle East. Actually, I have a video, an example of a guy, his name, he called himself Nightmare from Morocco, 50 something years old. And he said to me, Allah have a spirit. What are you talking about? He was sure. And then he searched, he came back, he says, you are right. Allah don't have a spirit. So how Allah will die if he never live? Spirit is the power of life. You know, when even your stupid book says that Allah, he breathed to Adam and gave him soul. Okay, this breathing is what? When the Quran says min ruhina from our spirit, so then how you say he don't have a spirit? Because obviously the Muslims are following a false prophet, very confused religion, very silly. One verse says Allah he, he breathe, breathe. Okay, breathe from what? He's breathing what exactly? What does that mean? We blow into Adam from our spirit. Okay, so from where? Do you have a box, have a spirit from it, and you take from it? Because it says from our spirit, which means the spirit already exists. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. I love it. You see, the best part of anything is the leg. I mean, let us face it. What is the best part of a woman? For men, you know, to tempt men. The leg. Yeah. The prophet, he saw a woman toes, he got excited. Mm -hmm. Allah have a leg and nothing like Allah. Brother and sister, remember, nothing like Allah. So how come Shabir Ali saying, we don't make Allah look like something, but this sheikh, he's, those, those are from the same religion, those are Muslim Sunni. Here you see the, the hypocrisy. In a debate, they say something, in a private matter, they say something else. This is Islamic TV, the one is listening just Muslims. So when Allah talks about hands, it's not like the hand that we have got, five fingers like this line. Allah. It's not like Allah have five fingers, no, Allah? They don't have five fingers, uh, brother. 
Who? Are you sure? Are you sure? Wait, hold on. As I know that Allah, he said he have five fingers. <laughs> and your prophet even agree with the Jews about that. I mean, do you see how this stupid, this is a, those are scars, those are a bunch of jokers. Always when I have to find something, I, I, I find a video of mine. I cannot find anything without finding a video of mine. Hold on. Allah has a fingers. Okay. We just heard uh, Zach, uh, Zuzu saying that Allah has, that, uh, that we cannot say Allah has five fingers. Not like, uh, you know, no, we cannot say that. No. Well, isn't this is a Muslim too? And he is reading Sahih book is to express his wonder and his belief in what the Jews said. So what does this prove? That Allah has? Has? A finger. <laughs> like what's wrong? Why the Muslims, one video they say to us, we cannot say Allah have five uh, have fingers, and the other video it says Allah have fingers. I mean, who is saying the lie? Who is saying the truth? What's wrong with you, Muslims? This guy, he just said, yes, Allah have fingers. Is to express his wonder and his belief in what the Jew said. So what does this prove? That Allah has? Has? A finger. Uh, come on, yeah, this is really annoying. One, only one, it, it says the hadith five. He mentioned the hadith, by the way, he said it's five fingers. But we are just giving you the the cream of it, you know, like the, the, the final. So each one of them, he give us different story. The band he is talking to who? His hand is like human hand. Allah said he have hand, what can I see? Allah, he said he have hands, what they can see? Shabir Ali, he says, those are mutashabihat. We cannot say anything. We cannot make a comment about them. <laughs> how, does, how come this guy, he's, he's confirming? Why they lie? What's wrong with this potato cult? Allah, he says, he have a hand. What I can say? I mean, what? So, so he's, he's not guilty. Look, he's putting his hand for you. He says, look, hand. Don't imagine. How Allah look like? Don't imagine. Like what? After all what you said, don't imagine? I did. The hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Don't. Don't even think about it. Allah have five fingers. Yes, brother. Allah have hands. Yes, brother. But how the hand of Allah look like? Haram. Haram. Don't imagine. <laughs> I'm not imagining at all. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, always. Try to find something makes sense in anything in life, right? Hmm. If you are looking for something makes sense in life, Islam, my brother. Islam is the religion which makes sense. A lot of sense. I mean, sense as much as you want. So how the hands of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Allah have hands? Yes, brother. Allah have fingers? Yes, brother. Allah have a leg? Yes, brother. Allah have a face? Yes, brother. But don't imagine. Haram! Haram! Haram, haram! What's wrong with you? I told you, haram! Don't imagine! Now, I search for the word nails. Is that nails? 
It must be the names of Allah. What is that, man? That is, women have nails like this. I mean, what do you do with those things? <laughs> and they say to you, why men are scared of women, man? Oh boy, we fear no Allah, but we fear women for sure. Continue with us, continue, brother. All right, all right. So, but don't imagine wisdom. This is wisdom and dumb together. You bring wisdom and put it with dumb, that will be wisdom. To be a Muslim, brother, just take it as it is. Don't imagine. If you imagine, you are in trouble. So, he had Allah, uh, the hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Just leave it. Leave it. Do Allah have hand? Yes. As a believer, what do you say? Yes. 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 Why do you say Allah ha? haram, shirk? How you compare Allah with human? No, I didn't say Allah's hand is like human hand. Allah said he have hand. What can I say? You must say Allah's hand represents his power, his authority. Power, Allah said qudra. Power, the word power means qudra. Or you can is qawiyun. Kaharun, but the word yet you open any dictionary, Arabic dictionary, what is the meaning of yad? Literally, yad means hand. Literally, mean hands, that's it. You know what we can do. Now, look, we have a Muhammadan, he is a smart Muhammadan. You know, Muhammadan are smart people, what we can say. He just posted this. Mm -hmm. How cute you are. Very cute. Hold on. So this Muhammad and he said this. I will put it for you in the screen. Uh, come on. All right. So this is what this person said in the chat. Uh, his name is you know what? Your name is harder than imagining the, the hand of Allah. I mean, what is this? I need two weeks to read it. Yulvu ultima tulvuruthu You know, something like that. Christian Prince, I thought your God has hand, hands, maybe just one hand. You see, my God, he came as a man. So we are not the ones confused, you idiot. We are not. Ask me who is my God, I will say to you, Jesus. You say to me who is Jesus, I say to you, he is the one who came to us, the Messiah, who is born of the Virgin Mary. And he have the, the, the form of a man. He came to us as a man. So we are not confused. It's you who is confused. It is you who have no idea who is this God, Allah. He have fingers. Okay, why he have fingers? What he would do then? You know, check for boogers? If he is not a man, Allah have a leg, brother. If you remember, I have a debate with the Dr. Nabil Baikli and the Imam of, uh, I think it was Tennessee, something like this, Malik Sar. And they said to me, Christian Prince, you, ha uh, you have a leg. Is the leg of uh, your leg is like Allah leg? Who care? It's a leg. <laughs> the second you say, I have a leg, it's mean it's a leg. It doesn't matter how it look like. Leg, it have a duty. It's called a leg because you walk in it not because of the look hand is called the hand because you grab things with it not because of the look stupidity is amazing so it is not us who is confused about his god it's you so this person, his name is uh, Lulu Futu uh, uh, Ultima. Uh, can you tell us now the conclusion of all the video we played for you? Do Allah have hands or not? One video say Allah don't. The other one says Allah does. 
One video says Allah, we cannot talk about it. And the other one says, no, we can't talk about Allah. He said he have a hand. Right? Yeah, you see, you see, Ultima, here we go. The Lord, he says, written, say, actually, you quote a verse for me saying that Jesus is God. Look, let us show you what this verse he, he quote for us. Or let me take a selfie for you. You see how they cry? Look how they cry. And they say to you, where Jesus says, um, God worship me. Here we go. For us, we have no problem. <laughs> For you is the problem. <laughs> the Lord said to my Lord, you Muslims, how you say in, in, in the Jews, they believe only that God is one person. When you quote for me this verse saying, the Lord said to my Lord. You see how you get yourself busted, Muhammadan? This is a phrase, Jesus, he asked the Jews about it in the Old Testament. He said to them, what do you say of the Messiah? They said he is the son of David. He said, if he is David's son, then how David he say, and he called him God in his spirit. So he said, the Lord says to my Lord, sit in my right hand. Do you see it? So this is not a problem for us because we as a Christians, we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But you are the problem. Your, your prophet, he claimed that Allah, he will make Muhammad sit in the right of his side in the throne. <laughs> the right side of Allah. <laughs> but you Muslims deny that Allah to have any physical form. But in reality, he does. You see the stupidity? This is a problem for you, not for us because you are following the religion of the Abdul. When, when the Hadith says that Allah have two hands, but both of them are in the right side. So what Muhammad will sit exactly? I mean, why Allah is saying he will sit in his throne with him? How a God, his name is Allah, he have two hands, in the right side I want to know that I want to learn how that work you know they just confront to us in the video that Allah hands are literally they are not metaphorically correct so now we cannot play the game says oh this is metaphorical mean that Allah is always this and that no he we just heard the guy saying Allah he said in the Quran he have hands what I can say if you say to me the hand of Allah is the power of Allah that's wrong open any dictionary that's what the, the, the video says so, and both of his hands are right hands. Do you see it? Do you see it, Abdul? I do not need to imagine God. God, he came to me as a man. You are the one who is full of imagination and you don't know what you are talking about. And the verse you quote for me, proving that Jesus is God. And the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. He just said to them, if David, if, if the Messiah is the son of David, so how David then worship him and call him Lord? My Lord God, Jehovah. The confused religion, the confused, right? What you can say. Mm. yeah and now you know he will go and search for whatever the word hand we answer you about that god we don't care about you know, this is the stupid things you see we talk about tomato they answer about potato we for us we don't we don't care god is always capable of being anything he want christians did god appear as a bird in heaven yes did God, he appeared to Moses as a fire? Yes. And even the Quran copied the story. If we go to the Quran, we will find your silly Muhammad saying the following.
Read and laugh. Chapter 27, verse number 8. Moses, he came to the fire which he saw from far away. And when he reached the fire, he heard a voice saying, I am Allah, speaking from the tree. You ask the Muslims, is Allah is the fire? <laughs> no, no, he's not. So the verse, it says, but when he reached, he was called saying, blessed is who is ever in the fire. Who is in the fire? <laughs> I mean, look at this. The fire, the sound came from the tree. And the tree is on fire, and the tree says, I am your God, Allah. And then the verse says, Blessed is the one who is in the tree, sorry, in the fire. Muslims, who is in the fire? I mean, look how hard the question. Let us repeat the question again. I will make it simple. I heard the voice coming from the refrigerator saying, I am Allah. I opened the refrigerator. I heard the voice saying, blessed, who is in the refrigerator? Muslims, who is in the refrigerator? <laughs> Unbelievable. This is a cartoon. Blessed, who is in the fire? Who is in the fire? Google, search Google, search Google, start searching. And now the Muslim, they will start guessing. Maybe the answer is Abril. Maybe the answer is Mikhail. Maybe the angel is Rael. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There is enough maybe. So they cannot answer the stupidity we are showing them. They try to jump to the Bible, and the Bible, there's no confusion. He is God. He can be in any way he wants. He's God. Why we call him God? Because he is almighty. What the word almighty mean? It means there's no limit of his ability. Otherwise, he don't deserve a name. Not like your God in the Quran, he says, how I can have a, a son and when I don't have a girlfriend? Look, like, what the heck? I mean, is that a logic of a God? Hmm? So Allah have fingers. Allah have hands. Allah have legs. And yet Allah cannot have a son. Why? Because he don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Somebody get Allah a girlfriend for this. He doesn't even use the word uh, wife. He says sahiba. You know? He have no girlfriend, Allah? I'm really shocked. When Allah, he said that how he can have a son without having a girlfriend, and the Quran says nothing like Allah. This is the most stupid claim. Why? Because he just compared himself to a normal human being. Human being cannot have a son unless he have a woman, regardless if it's his wife or not. A man, he cannot have a woman. She cannot have two. Allah is the same as a man. Have you ever heard of a God giving us such an explanation? How can he has a, have a son, has a child when he has no girlfriend? Well, let us ask you the same question then. How Mary in the Quran, she has a son, yet she have no boyfriend. Do you see the stupid logic? Because if that is impossible, even for Allah, and if Allah is the only true God, that means this is impossible for Mary. If Allah is the God of Mary, do you understand me? When Allah, he says, how can he, speaking about himself, not somebody from coming from the moon, how can he have a son? Yet he don't have a girlfriend. That's mean even to Allah, that is impossible. He need a girlfriend. Then the same silly book says that Mary, she have a son without a boyfriend. Obviously, the God of Mary, 
he can make things happen. He can make Mary have a son even if she don't have a man. Allah, he cannot. If you don't believe me, read the word of Allah. How can he? Who is the question the ability? Allah. This is not Christian Prince, and don't give me interpretation. Now, I mean, this is a very simple verse. Even this one, you want to make stories about it? How can he? How can he? I mean, how silly, how stupid that is a God. He claimed that he cannot do something. And what is that thing? To have a son without having a woman. How he can be God anymore? And not to forget to mention that the Muslim, they say to us that Allah, he is only one. No, the Quran say a different story. Sorry, Muslims. Chapter 21, verse number 17. It says, Lo aradna. Lo aradna. Lo لو لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوا لاتخذناه من لدنا إن كنا فاعلين. Eh, but it doesn't take time. What does that mean? I mean, as long you don't understand Arabic, it's okay. But the second you understand Arabic, you get dizzy and you vomit. Let us go and read the interpretation. The interpretation, and I'm saying interpretation like this because you feel like you are riding a truck in the top of the Himalaya mountains. Because the interpretation will not give you interpretation as much as going to give you a vibration in your brain and you might lose it. So Allah is one God, brother. And here, Dalalain, peace be upon him, big scholar, is explaining to us the verse, brother. Not Christian Prince. We are just reading the Dalalain translation by, done by Muslims, published by Muslims in the website of Muslims in the government of Jordan. Tafsir Dalalain. Had we desired to find some diversion, that which provide diversion in the way of a partner of a child. I love to have children. Unbelievable. His, his son, sit down now. No, 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 sit down. Come on, sit down. Okay. We would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful Aidhuris. Like, hold, what, 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 what? So, Allah is nothing like Allah. Allah is only one God. Allah is the only creator. And then Allah, He will find it from ourselves. You see, if you say to the Muslim, why Allah, He keeps saying we? He say we, 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 because this is a majestic. It is suitable to Allah to call him more we, you idiot. That's mean it's suitable to Allah to be three person, not one. So Allah tried to make himself we. Fake we? Is that a fake we? Yes, it's fake we. Because either it's fake or Allah really is a we. So if Allah is not a we, and he is adding in front of his name we, 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 like an ambulance, that's mean he, he think if he became more than one, he is more majestic, stupid religion. But in this verse, Allah is we for real. He says, if we want to find a partner, we will find it with ourselves. Ourselves who? Any Muslim? Why we have less is still 1,000? Only 985 people here. Where? What happened? Okay, let me increase the number. Uh, at, at the end of the uh, uh, program, we will give versions. Okay. I will, first, we will give you, you will receive a brochure from Allah. Have a big source of the girls. Allah will provide you in the heaven, brother. And they are so beautiful, brother. You should see, brother. Nothing like them, brother. To the point you can see the marrow of their bones. We love bones, don't we? I mean, look how beautiful they are. You see the mirror of their bones? Are, are you talking to us? You, you, do you think we are like, a, a, like what? What is that? Bones? So Allah, he says ourself. He will take a partner. Not only, he is not saying here we. He will say, he's saying he will take a wife from ourself. If there is no Allah beside Allah, Allah will marry Allah from ourself. Oh, Allah here is going to be Allahi. Allah, Allah, Allah. 
We want to make it female. Uh, we want to make it a lot, maybe. And then the guy in the interpretation, he keep going. He says, from the beautiful eyed, and the who is like, what the heck? So the beautiful eyed Huris are not a human, they are Allah too? <laughs> because if they are a human, how they are from our self? You see that our self here present our kind, my kind, my people. And Allah talking about having a girlfriend so he can have a son. He will have it from who? He's a choice from ourself. Okay, who is our self? Now the Muslim, they will say to you, say to you Christian Prince is showing you fact inter fa fa interpretation. Fact? What? What? This is not fact interpretation. This is your interpretation. I'm just reading. Hello? Hello, it's me you're looking for. Hmm. Any Muslim have a comment? So nothing like Allah, brother. Nothing like Allah. After all of this, they say to you, nothing like Allah. Allah have five fingers, nothing like Allah. Allah have a shin, nothing like Allah. Allah have... I mean, and I, even that verse, by the way, he is copying the, uh, the, the, the Bible. Like if you go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 6, it says, There's none like you, O Lord. And if we go actually to that verse, Allah is making a parable of himself as a tree. What is the purpose of a parable in Islam? Do you know the purpose of a parable? What is the purpose? What is the purpose? Any Muslim can tell me what is the purpose? Because always there is something. Uh, when Allah He says something, it must be there is a purpose. When He say He is like a light, and the light in the niche, and the niche in a glass, and the glass in etc. And you like blah 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 blah. Okay, no problem. And there he says, Allah, he make parable for people. Okay, wonderful. But why Allah, he make parables for people? What is the wisdom? Any Muslim knows? The fact Allah, he give parables to deceive. Do you know that? Have you ever heard? Here you can compare, if you are a Christian person, you can compare the reason. If you go and read the Bible, you will find why Jesus, he speak to people in parables, because simply so they can understand the kingdom of God. They can know about it. Not to confuse you. The Quran says the opposite. Allah, he make parable so he can deceive you. Chapter 2, verse number 26. And if you don't like this funny translation, we can give you a different translation because all the translations are funny anyway. All of them, they are laughable, especially for the one who speak Arabic. This is why even Muslims, Muslims themselves, you know, who speak Arabic, they will say, we don't accept any translation. <laughs> because they knew that those translation is made to fabricate and to fake it and to make you believe. Allah is not ashamed to set forth a parable even of a mosquito so much more or, or, or more or bigger. The, by the way, the Muslim, they made the article saying that this is proof, scientifically proven, that they discover that there is a bunch of cows that live in the top of the mosquitoes. When the Quran is saying cows, <laughs> I hope there's no Hindus around. Listen, there's a cows in the top of the mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... It says Wama Fawqaha, which means bigger, bigger, liars. Even look the translation saying that, and the interpretation saying that, but liars, they are desperate. Or less than, talking about the size, okay? But what the purpose of this 
bigger and smaller mosquito what Allah intend by this parable read carefully it's not me who's saying that this is Allah Allah knows best what is the intent of Allah to give you a parable that's deep that's deep brother the intent of Allah parable is to mislead do you see it mislead many and he guide many that's deep so Allah he gave parable so he mislead with it have you ever heard of <laughs> that's deep. that's deep wisdom brother brother and sisters I will give you now a parable to understand the Quran now we are a thousand people listening let me warn you from now 500 or 600 of you will be misled by my parable and there is 400 or 300 of you will be guided so it's about how lucky you are <laughs> I like to have parables brother parable is my best uh, what uh, guys uh, it's very cold here Oh boy. Uh, uh, you know, uh, ultimate fart. Listen, you know, people are laughing at you. Remember how many times? Go, just go. You are just a kid. Uh, you see, they get so angry. They get so angry. And their anger is an example of the parable of Allah. They get angry for what I'm reading. I'm not saying anything. Allah says he gave parable so he can mislead you. Why are you angry from me? How if we listen to Allah parable, we are going to be misleaded? You tell me. Parable always are given to make things simpler, not complicated and not to deceive. Not for Allah. Allah give you such a thing. So you will be misleaded. Uh, Harris Saad saying, why you did not say inshallah before reading? My friend, uh, just to give you an example of, uh, uh, of the mis... Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, the saying inshallah Muhammad he said that those who gather together and don't say the name of Allah and then they leave is the same as the jifat of al-himar which means the dead donkey so when we say to Muslims let me find you the hadith just when we say to the Muslims you have to say inshallah how you can be a Muslim you don't say inshallah they think we are joking this is serious the Quran described those people are dead donkeys, you know? Actually, in the hadith, I mean. Uh, let us see if we can find the hadith in Arabic. Like maybe some people thought, like, this is not really important. I mean, what a big deal if you say inshallah or not. Right? Here we go. Let us see. Do you see it? Now, one of you, he says to me, how you can find the hadith so fast? It's in my head. It's not in the, you know. Huh? Those who join together and they don't say the name of Allah. They are the same as a dead donkey. The crops of a donkey. So when somebody, he claimed to be a Muslim. And the whole entire thing, he didn't even mention that. Muhammad described him as a dead donkey. Good? Did I answer you? <laughs> reference. Anytime you need reference, by the way, let us say you watch my videos later and we don't have the link. Uh, like I'm not there. You are just uh, somebody playing my video. Just, you know, just search for the exact, like uh, uh, look for, let us say, uh, unique uh, uh, sentence in the, in, the, in the screen. Like here got up from an ass of a crops you know search for it in sunnah.com you will find it very simple 
But here you notice, by the way, that the donkey is uh, the one who is calling us donkey. He is the donkey. I mean, okay. How you say to me that Allah is a person who speak the truth. And then when he say the truth, he, mis he mislead us. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Now, any one of you remember the reference we are talking about? Which reference we are talking about? Chapter 2, verse number 26. If you really like to learn and educate yourself, so one day you can stand up and you can, people, they will be like, okay, this guy, he knew what he's talking about. Then you have to take reference. Chapter 2, verse number 26. Allah, he make parable to deceive the Muslims. He mislead. He mislead. Many. And he deceive only the bad ones. Look, look how stupid is that? Guys, he deceived the bad ones. But the bad ones is the one who need you. To, you, you. <laughs> look at the stupidity. If Allah is making a parable for the one who is not deceived. That's mean Quran is not the book of guidance because those are already guided. Correct? Have you ever heard of a doctor? He gave medicine only for the healthy. What a donkey doctor he is. So Allah, he make a parable to deceive those who they are bad. I thought you want to fix them. <laughs> Look at the wisdom. Look at the wisdom and dumb. You know, uh, first when I was, uh, I'm still learning English, as you know. So I, I was trying to pronounce the word wisdom. Let me see, like, after uh, listening to Allah, if my English is improved. A Muslim, he says to me, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you what a Muslim, look how angry they are, man. Look how angry. Uh, YouTube did hide it. He said to me, you are a piece of set. A Muslim, he said to me, you are a piece of set. Abdul. Don't talk about, talk about shit, otherwise I'm going to show you a verse in the Quran about it. The Quran made your mother equal to Pupu. He said the three things or few things, if you do them, you have to wash. One of them is touching the women and touching the shit. Chapter 4, verse number 43. And look at them. They cannot refute us. They cannot answer us. So we call us those names. Who care? We love. And here we go. You remind me of a word in the Quran. So if you want to do prayer, brother, huh? Okay. If you do touch your butt and your poo, -poo or touch women, you have. Hmm. And look, look, look here. Look what they add. Janaba, state of Janaba. What is what it says that? It says Lamastum and Nisa. Touch, touch. I mean, look at those liars. If you change the translator, you will find a new Quran. Updated Quran. Let us see an updated Quran. Big time. Does it say really if you have a sexual intercourse or it says touch? Touch. Touch. You see it? So if you touch your poo or you touch women, your prayer is not accepted. Allah make the poo equal to the women. Put them together in one verse. Both are dirty. Now I understand how much you are frustrated. No problem. Because you have no answer. Allah gave parables so he can deceive us. What a God. Huh? What a God he is. 
And by the way, the Muslims, they say we are against drinking, but to them tell you that Muhammad in his companion, they were a bunch of gang drunk all the time. To the point the Arab, they start making fun of them. They drink and they pray and they fail apart in the prayer. So Muhammad, he have to stop them. He says, okay, who you believe? Don't pray when you are drunk. He didn't say don't drink. When you pray, don't be drunk, please. People are laughing at us. <laughs> Brother and sister, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. What happened? Hmm. So, how many of you are going to download the videos? I cannot say Allah knows best. And as you see, Allah, he gave parable so he can deceive you. Hmm. How come Jesus did not do the same? Any Muslim can tell us what is the problem? Why you have a God? He give you a parable to fool you. Because at the end of the day, the one who will believe anything in the Quran is the Muslim, not us. For us, you cannot deceive us with this because we don't believe it anyway. We don't believe the one you call it good and we don't believe in the one you call it bad. Hmm? When, when, the, when the disciple, they say to Jesus, why do you speak to people in parable? What Jesus said, because I want, excuse me, I want to deceive you. Is that the answer of Jesus? Why Jesus spoke in parable? Muslims, anyone have an answer? Why when Jesus spoke in parable, he want to guide people so they can understand? But when Allah He speak in parable, He will deceive you. Matthew 13 The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto Him, so that He went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear? Hold on here, please. Do you know that Muhammad the thief, he stole this parable from Jesus too? <laughs> Even this one, do you know? Even this one we find it in the Quran. But this is Jesus talking. If Jesus was a prophet, and then Muhammad, he kick his word, not the word of God, a word of a prophet supposedly, and he embedded the word in the Quran, claiming that Allah that means Jesus is God. Any Muslim notice what I'm talking about? Hmm. They don't notice. We will go back that, to that later.
Let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But so here you see that Jesus making it simple. If they want to close their heart against my words, they will not hear it, and they don't want to understand anyway. But those who listen, and those who have their heart open to know, they decide to listen, I will heal them. So while Jesus is speaking in parable to heal you, to make you understand, to explain to you, Allah making Quran to deceive you. How that can be the same? And by the way, even this sentence here about they cannot hear is exists in the Quran. Muhammad, he copied it from Jesus. But when Muhammad, he speak, he make it stupid. So he say that Allah, he closed their heart. It's not their fault. Allah has sealed their hearing. Allah, he sealed their heart. Allah, he sealed his eyes, their eyes with covering. So they will not understand. It's not them. It's not them who they are bad. It's Allah who he sealed them. So if Allah, he sealed my heart, why I will be guilty? Any Muslim can tell me? Uh, open your Skype. You know, ultimate fault. Aren't you the one who said to me that Jesus, he uh, he did this to his mother? I mean, you are just a kid. I was reading the girl. I was saying what the girl she said. And this guy, he played a video. Says, Jesus, Christian Prince, he says, Jesus, he played with his mother by a breast. <laughs> Coward, potato. <laughs> Do you remember yourself when you said to me, you know, I don't talk to you because you are just too little, too tiny. Now, if I give you a chance to call me, are you going to talk in the topic? You will not. You will start calling all kinds of names. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open Skype, not Skype, a, a pal talk for you. Ultimate fart. Do you dare to call me right now? Do you dare to call me? Here we go. Let me open pal talk just for you. I will not accept anyone except you. <clears throat> Sorry. Here we go. We are just looking for entertainment. I don't even consider you as a Muslim. You are just a potato. But you know, we need something for a snack. Hey, come on. All right. Okay, ultimate fault. I'm logging into my pal talk. Give me a call. <clears throat> and you will see, whatever we talk about, he will talk about something different and he will not stop talking. He's a talking machine. And he will call me all kinds of names. And then they say to, you, to, to me, I mean, you have to have more patience. 
Call me, call me ultimate. Let us have fun. We miss you, by the way. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Let us see. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let us answer some questions and, and tell this uh, uh, kid he called us. So, uh, somebody sent me this uh, saying, he was debating with Muslims about the chapter 41 uh, and verse number, chapter number 79, chapter 2, uh, you see the numbers of the verses. And he was saying, maybe ultimate fault he can answer us about that. He is saying that I was debating with a Muslim about it. He says, the earth is created. The sky is created. Okay, hold on, hold on. Did, did they say to you, number two, sky is created? What does that mean? And then the earth was made perfect. The sky was made perfect. W what is the answer? I mean, what, what, what does that mean? The sky was made perfect. The earth was made perfect. Potato perfect. What is that? The question, my friend, ask the question correctly. Which one is created first? The mountains or the stars? You do not need all this garbage. Creation is created. Sky is created. And where it says it's created? Make your questions simple so they cannot play with you. Actually, we can give this question to Ultimate Fart if he dare to call me. And he will see, he will see how he will answer you. He's deep, this guy. All right. Yes, let us see. All right, answering somebody. Where is the ultimate part? Oh, we have this. Uh... Uh, by the way, the, the person who was here last time. Yomota? Isn't it? Isn't it you? We we called last time. Then you did not take our call. Okay, let's search for Yamota. Hold on, Yamota, Yamota. I will search for Yamota. Okay, Yamota. Here we go. I'm going to call you in the front of everybody. This is Mr. Yamota. We are calling Yamota. All right. <laughs> Yamota, ask Allah to update your older version of Pal Talk. Go ask him to do it. Hmm? I just call you, it says you need to update Yamota, and it says you are away. Yamota, potato. What a bunch of kids. Text me, text me. Say hi to me. Hmm? Let's call you again. Do we have any brave Muslim here there to call me? I don't know what he meant by your muta. Maybe he meant muta, maybe. Any Muslim? So nothing like Allah, but Allah is like a tree. Nothing like Allah, but Allah like a niche. Nothing like Allah, but Allah is a fire. Allah, nothing like Allah, but Allah uh, is a man. Even Allah is a man. You know, isn't it Muhammad, he compared Allah to the false Messiah? And he said, your God is not one-eyed? 
Nothing like Allah. Yamuta, did you did you fix it? Let me call you again, Yamuta. Right. Okay, Yamuta the kid. So nothing like Allah. But Muhammad was afraid that the Muslims will be confused about him and the false messiah. But the false messiah is a man. How the Muslims will be confused about if the false messiah is Allah, if he is coming in the look and the shape of a man. And he is a man actually. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? Unless Allah is a man. You see, if Allah nothing like him, why Muhammad is afraid that the Muhammadan they will think that the false messiah who is claiming to be the messiah is Allah when he is coming as a man. The Prophet said, who is the Prophet? When we say the Prophet, we mean Muhammad. There's no other Prophet than him. That's it. He said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal. Who is the Dajjal? It's not Antichrist. Dajjal is a false messiah. His name, the correct name is Al-Masih Dajjal, which means the liar messiah, which means the false messiah. That I'm afraid you may not understand that the Dajjal is short, hinted, woolly haired, and one eyed and I sightless, neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord Allah is not one eyed. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I thought nothing like Allah. So Muhammad is telling the Muhammadan that I am Muhammadan who teach the Muhammadan about how Muhammad is describing the to Muhammadan that Muhammad is the only knows how the Muhammadan should understand how Allah looks like for the Muhammad as the Muhammadan. And now Muhammad he gave them an example, parable, parable, brother. But this is not a parable. This is literally Allah is not one eyed. So this is the only difference between them. He's afraid that the, the Muslims will think that this is Allah just because of the, because of what? They're only different between Allah and the false Messiah is one eyed. It is either, either different? No, it's in front of you. And this is Sahih. What they will say, this is weak, this is a, Sahih. Right? Uh, get, get out of your potato. You see, I just call you and, you know, you're just a kid. You see, I, I, I don't mind to speak to kids, even if they are stupid and silly. Because, you know, we are very humble. But as you see, even when we give them a chance, they are here just to call names. They are not here to discuss anything because they are just angry. And I understand if I am you, God forbid, and I am silly, God forbid, and a stupid, God forbid, I will be angry from this. I mean, how silly you say to me nothing like Allah, and then you describe Allah saying he is not one eyed. I'm afraid that you will think that this guy who is coming look like the, the Messiah, but he is not the Messiah, and he is not even the real Messiah, and he's a man. I am afraid you will think this is Allah. But Allah is not a man anyway, so why they will think is Allah? Because Allah is a man, obviously. Do you see it? The proof is in the front of you. It's not my word. This is Muhammad speaking. Muhammad is afraid that they are confused. Hatta khashayt. Until I am afraid. Afraid of what? The appearance of the Dajjal. Okay, what the appearance of the Dajjal have to do with the appearance of Allah? If Allah is not a man, if Allah is not a human, if nothing like Allah, but here he's describing it for us a man, he is not short, he is fat, he is uh, hair, his eyes, etc. And then he says, well, if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. So Allah have a physical eyes, physical body, physical shape, and he look exactly as the false Messiah and the proof in the front of your eyes. What do you think? And here we need to ask another question. Why there is a person 
He is going to make amazing miracles and he is going to claim to be the Messiah. Any Muslim can answer that? Why he will not claim to be Muhammad? And you notice here, by claiming to be the Messiah, you became God. Do you see the hadith saying that? The hadith saying that this person is coming as the Messiah, he is the false Messiah, not the Antichrist. This is a false translation. In Islam, there's no Antichrist. That's a big fat lie. In Islam, there's the false Messiah. Al-Masihu Dajjal. Dajjal means the liar. So, Al-Masihu Dajjal, the Messiah, the liar, which means he is claiming that he is the Messiah, he will make a lot of miracles. Actually, if we search in the Hadith, we will find tons of reference of what this guy he will do. A Dajjal, he is going to be a very powerful person. He will chop a man to pieces and he put him together right away. Here you see the influence of Christianity on Muhammad, that the Messiah is God. The Messiah, he can split a person to pieces and he can put them together. Tons of stories about the Messiah, the false Messiah, in the Hadith. Oh, look, all of those. Muhammad, he have a put like he is so afraid from this false Messiah, supposedly. You see it? Look. I mean, this guy, he keep talking about him, talking about him, talking about him, non-stop. Thousands and thousands. Here you will see a story. That the Messiah, the false Messiah, he will cut a human being. Two pieces. And he will walk between them. And then he will tell the man to stand up. You see what the false Messiah can do? Read carefully. This is the hate in front of you. Let me give you the reference. But this is in Sahih Muslim. We can find the same reference in Sahih Muslim. But let's read it here for it. It's exists in Bukhari too. That the false Messiah, he will cut a human being to pieces. This is the Jajjal about whom the Messenger of Allah has informed us. The Jal will have him laid on his stomach and have his head. He will be struck on his back and on his stomach. The Jal will ask him, don't you believe me? He will say, you are the false Messiah. You see, false Messiah, not the Antichrist. He will give his order to have him swan with the saw into two from parting of his hair up to his legs. After that, the Dajjal will walk between the two halves and will say to him, stand up. And he will stand up on his feet. And he will say to him, don't you believe in me? Do you see it, guys? Why the false Messiah is doing this, according to Muhammad? Because he want to be the Messiah. To believe in him that he is the true Messiah. <laughs> but that means the Messiah, the real Messiah, if the false Messiah can do this, what the real Messiah can do? Do you understand, Christians? This is the stupid teaching of Muhammad. If the false messiah can split a man to pieces and make him stand up so what the real messiah can do glory to you muslim do you see who is my lord and do you see why we believe is god you idiot those who say he's not god if the false messiah who is trying to clone jesus he can do this so the real messiah what he can do 
and why he is trying to do what the Messiah do because this is can be done only by God and that explain why Muhammad saying to you that Allah the only difference between him and the Messiah that the false Messiah the, you know he have problem with one eye I mean here look at the stupidity the false Messiah he can split a man to pieces but he cannot fix his eye <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, do you see the stupidity? The, the false messiah, he have a problem with his eye. He have his, his one eye sight, you know? There's one eye is like gone. Okay, but the person you are saying, he can split a man to pieces. He can create from the, from, from the sand a man. He can do many things. I mean, there's tons of stories. So a person who can do all of this, cannot he fix his eye? Well, let me tell you, false messiah, I can let you, I advise you to search in uh, in YouTube and you will find how many people go and make surgery in Thailand. Not only they will fix your eye, they will fix your gender. And then he will look like Allah. Genderless. But the Muslim, by the way, the Quran keeps saying he, he. The Muslim, they say he is not a, is he a man? They say he's he. Okay, what he's okay. What, why you don't say then a she? Okay, if he is not a man, he is not a woman. Why you don't say he she? But you say he. Jesus is a man. Okay, he. Is Allah is a man? No. So why you say he? Hmm. Too many questions. And who can answer them? I want to say thank you guys for being here. I wasn't planning to stay for long and I did not actually only what two hours how long yeah, just two hours 15 minutes very short video very short I'm freezing here okay uh, oof. oh boy <laughs> I'm going to go on the street now and split a man to pieces and I say to him Takaru, ta -ta -ka -ka -ta -ta like I will use some voodoo word you know and put him together who can do the false messiah will do this and to make himself accepted as God. The messiah in the Quran, he can resurrect people from death. And then Allah, he blame you for believing that he is God. He can create from the mother bird. He breathed into the bird and he Blame you for believing him as God. Allah, he sent 600 years later a message saying, oh, this is the Messiah. Yeah, I gave him those miracles. I gave him those miracles. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember this guy I sent. His name is the Messiah. Yeah, but he's not God. I sent him. I gave him those miracles. By giving them, if, if Allah really intended to guide us, he will not give those to Jesus. Because Jesus forgives sin. And the Quran says, who forgives sin save Allah? Who resurrect people from death save Allah? Who is the one can make people see save Allah? Who can create save Allah? And then we will find that Jesus, he says, I create to you from the mud a bird and I breathe into him. And then he says, by the leave of Allah, leave of Allah. You see, leave of Allah does not change anything, not by the power of Allah, by the leave of Allah. So if I can do it, that's mean the leave of Allah is not important. As an example, can I now, Make fun of Allah, I'm doing that already. But did Allah give me the leave to do that? The Muslim they might say yes, might say no. The fact, no. According to Islam, they don't believe in that. They believe in Qadr, destiny. So according to Islam, it's a destiny for me to insult Allah. And this is one of the stupid things of this religion. But if I try to have a son without a wife, can I do that? They will say no. Can Allah do that? They will say no, because Allah cannot have it too, unless he have a son. So the leave of Allah make no difference. It's a lie. Because Allah himself cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. But the God of Mary, he can do such a thing. Can God have a son? Muslims, can God have a son?
Dann ich muss dein. Just to show you how much confuse. Anyone? <clears throat> Supposedly my video is over, huh? Hmm. Uh, what we can do? I mean, ideas come after idea. If you look at the Muslims' answers about this, can Allah have a son? They will say uh, no. The Quran already already answer. But look, the Quran is a stupid book. In different places, the Quran gives us different story. Uh, okay, let's see. Look like we have a Muslim. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. He said I'm a Muslim, but I heard a donkey. <laughs> I mean, do you see how desperate they are? What a kid. Stupid. Let me block you. What? Did we put the foot of Allah in your mouth? What happened? Look what the Quran is saying about Allah having a son. Just to show you the stupidity of this book. Chapter 39, verse number 4. If Allah had willed to choose a son he could have chosen him from what he create like what so what the problem do you see the stupidity secondly we christian don't believe that god have a son from what he created the Quran says so. If Allah wanted to have son, he will take a son from what he created. It's not me who's saying that. But how that will make him your son? Adoption? You know what I'm talking about? That will not make him your son. If this son is from a creation you created, that is not your son. That is adoption. Obviously, the one who wrote the book, it's called Quran, is the same as the guy who was making his voice in Pal Talk a second ago. You have nothing to say. <laughs> If I want to have a son, I will have it from so I will have him from somebody I created. So, you Muslim, you say Jesus was a created, right? Okay. And you say that this is impossible. Okay, but Allah is saying it's possible. And look. Does the verse says this is impossible? He says no. Be glorified. He is Allah, the one, the absolute. So, and what is the connection actually between the first part of the verse and the second part? Nothing. Madness. My friend, learn something. When you go to a Christian uh, chat, you don't go and promote other Muslims channels I do not need to go and read and see somebody uh, channel 
to refute them. I am here to teach you, and you are free to go anywhere you want. If the Muslims themselves, you go with them and tell them to come and debate me. But you come in here promoting Muslim channels, that is not as smart of you. And you might even be a Muslim doing that. And by the way, I want to tell you something important here. There's many people here, they come in the chat and they curse Muhammad. They say a lot of things about Muhammad, but they are Muslims. In order to gain your trust. So you add them, you chat with them, they take your email, etc. Be careful, don't be stupid. Trust nobody. This is a chat. This is internet. You don't know you are talking to who. All right? Be very careful. There's Muslims, they come here to say bad things, so YouTube will take our videos down. Don't be a dummy. Trust nobody. Never give your email. Never share your information with them. Even with the Christians, why? What's their business? Why do you want to share information with them? It's internet, my friend. In this internet, the man can be a woman, and the woman can be a man. And the one who is uh, in America, he can be in Nigeria. So don't be a fool. I will never ask you for your private information. Never. What's my business? Nothing. Now, going back to our topic. <clears throat> uh, do we have any Muslim want to call us? May they, may they, before the last call, you know, any, any, you know, you see, I turn my heater off because my heater is very noisy and I'm getting really cold. Hmm? I have, a, I, have a, I have a heater. He worked like Jibril. I mean, he worked, he worked by gas, literally. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, any Muslim? <clears throat> Anyone? All right. Yeah, actually, I receive an email from, I, I will make a video about it. You know, like, I mean, there is a, I receive an email from Bank of America, but I don't have a Bank of America. And they are telling me that your uh, uh, your password is not secure. Log here, click here, and secure it. So many of you who do not know, let us say you have an account with this bank. You click, and you enter your username and your password. You just give your username and the password to the hackers. And they will send you a link. Looks so much close to the link of the real bank. Never open a bank email, ever. Banks don't do that. There's many ways to deceive people. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. We have already two hours. I hope the weather will change soon so we can go back to normal and people don't lose electricity. Very big storm is hitting USA all over. And this thing is miserable for many. So we pray for the safety of everybody. We pray for all of you. And we hope that today we learn something good. A lot of information, a lot of reference as usual. And those who they are smart, they learn. And those who they are dummy, they heard nothing, they saw nothing. As the Chinese, they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. So which one is you? Are you the one who left as a donkey, never came back as a horse? You have to choose life is a journey and those who don't learn in that journey they are the same as the donkey who left as a donkey come back as a donkey knowledge is what make you alive not food because if you just eat and sleep and do what all animals do you are just an animal the different is we think and we learn we get education we get better we commit sin we have failure we do bad we do good 
But the real person is, is the one who learns from his mistakes and he work hard to fix it. And education is a process of fixing things in life. Your enemy is your ignorance. The Bible says my people destroyed because of their ignorance. So don't let the ignorant Muhammad destroy you. And don't let other kind of ignorance destroy you too. Because Muhammadism is one of many ignorance in this earth. Seeking destruction for the foolish man and the foolish women. We pray to the Lord to guide you, to protect you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and don't forget to download this video. I will keep it only for a few hours before I take it down. Just a few hours, which means in four or five hours from now, the video will be gone. Download it, take it. It's yours. Take care. God bless you.